My name is Charles Goucher and we are today at Clavetti Shoot in North Devon. When we first took on the shoot nearly eight years ago now, um, the hotel we decided should be a central point and we as a shoot organisation meet and greet people and base ourselves at the hotel on each shoot day. And with it being owned by the estate and basically run by the estate, it does make it everything very shoot friendly and we've tried to sort of the staff there, we think, sort of really do a good job in helping all the causes for the shoot. And, um, and I think it's a package of being by the sea in the morning, being able to sort of wake up in the morning and hear the sea outside your window. I think we're just very fortunate to have that facility on our, on our doorstep. We're shooting a mixture of pheasants and partridges, primarily pheasants, but we do have a few partridge around within a few of the drives. They're not in all of them, but they're in some of them, which are adding a bit of extra excitement. High birds is always what everybody wants to come to Devon to, put, to shoot. That's our challenge, is to make sure people see something where they're travelling a long way that's a little bit different than maybe they see around their own um, home bases. To achieve the high birds that we try to do here, it, it's very important that we have a, an experienced team of beaters. And um, I think our guys do, and girls do a really good job. They sort of have several teams of people bringing in various lines of birds. And we're very lucky that topography here is sort of lends itself. As long as the bird flies level most of the time, so we're going to present something that's fairly reasonable. But you know, the team have got it, got it working well. You know, we, we're all in radio communication. It is my aim to make sure that the peg from number one to number nine is, is strong, that everybody gets an equal amount of shooting as much as possible. We try to have the drive so that we can sort of, you know, alternate from one end of the line to the other to keep people sort of occupied throughout the, the, that particular, any particular drive. Pheasants on some of them drive, they just kept coming one after another after another in packs of 10, 20, more than enough birds to shoot. I really pick your birds, it's worthwhile picking some screamers because you can, there's plenty of easy birds there but there's some challenging ones to take as well. It's been absolutely fantastic, the drives, the 
scenery, everything's been absolutely brilliant. The hospitality, even the place where we were staying last night in the Red Line Hotel down at the bottom, it's been absolutely first class. It's, um, it's beat all my expectations of shooting down here. And like I say, I've shot around the country quite a lot of different places. Even back home, we've got some nice birds, but nothing, nothing quite like what we've seen today. It's been, it's been absolutely unreal. I think it's important on a day of shooting. We're trying to show high birds all the time, that's always the goal. But it's also important that there's something in the drive for everybody to shoot at. At this time of year in particular, you know, we've got enough birds in the drive where people can choose a slightly lower one if they want to, or they can avoid the higher one. That's their choice, and um, it's, it's important within the team. Everybody's strength is different, but everybody gets a chance to shoot what they enjoy shooting. For me, if everybody's happy and they're enjoying shooting things that they're not normally used to seeing, and we can surprise a few people with what we've got to offer, then that's what I really enjoy being able to do.